Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 13th of August 2022. I'm waiting for a delivery. It's still morning here. Not sure what time the delivery of my new air conditioner is arriving. I won't be getting it installed today unfortunately though. But still nice to get the thing. A very cheap thing from a Chinese brand. I'm taking a punt and hoping that it works okay. Uh, right, it's time for the Guardian Expert level game because it's Saturday and I'm still not properly awake, but never mind, I shall attack it anyway. And um, what else is happening? Well, in the world, we see that uh, the uh, apparently the documents on the um, FBI search warrant and receipt have been released, or certainly they've hit the media anyway. I'm assuming that they are the real thing. And uh, apparently, um, uh, the uh, Espionage Act is one that is being uh, looked at. And uh, you know, of course, of course, absolutely, of course. <laughs> you know, who would expect anything less? Um, and uh, I just wonder about the people in the Trump cult. There are just so many of them, though. It's just such a dangerous cult because it's just involves such huge numbers. Even people who were reasonably sane before, just regular Republicans who I might disagree with, but I could argue are reasonably rational, have just come under the influence of the Trump cult and uh, you know are enth enthralled to his insane antics. And uh, I wonder what defense they will come up with next. But will they will they ever break with him? You know, I mean, when do you, when how do people leave cults? And it's really difficult. They they as soon as anybody attacks a cult, the cult generally joins together and says, "Oh, it's the outsiders attacking us." You know, we must stick together. So it's not an easy thing to leave a cult. But please, Americans, leave the cult of Trump. Anyway, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Um, right, what do we have? Okay, I can see a five blocking all the way up here, giving us a five in that square there. I won't bother to explain the rules of Sudoku. I will just assume that you know how to play the game since it is an expert level game. Apparently, two blocks down there. We're never quite sure exactly how expert it's going to be, though, on a Saturday Guardian. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Six is block across there. Let's have a six there. What are we missing? Two and four. Okay, so the four blocks down here and a four blocks up here and a four blocks across there. So immediately we can place a four there. How about the two? Is that going to give us anything? Two, two. If you can hear background noise and wonder what language that is, that's the language of Thai since I'm based in Bangkok. And if you're wondering what he's asking, he's selling brushes. Like what? It means thing to uh, stick to sweep, literally translated, but that actually obviously means a broom. The brooms are all natural material, though. They're made of twigs and stuff, you know, like a traditional witch that you see uh, on TV or in old movies or something like that. I need one, but I can't finish the game and run out now, so... Since I've started, I'll finish as Bamba Gascoigne used to say. Was it Bamba Gascoigne? No, sorry. Uh, Magnus Magnusson. Let me get my quiz masters correct. Right, okay. Eight is the square. Is the digit needed for that square? Um... Uh, okay, uh, one of our missing numbers here is three, so that's going to block threes all the way up here, three blocking up here, and three across here. Uh, let's check out these missing numbers down here. Three, what are the others? Three, eight, and nine. Let's look. 
look around. Three, eight, and nine. Threes. Mm. Ah, okay. Uh, one of these is eight, so eight books up here, eight across here, and eight across here, so that has to be an eight. One blocking down here and one across here, so that gives us a one in that square. Okay, we have one blocking this square, one blocking this square, and one blocking this square, so that gives us a one down here. One across here, across here, oops, keep the right shift key held down, one, not shift key, other key, thingy key, thingy bob key, keep it held down. Uh, we also can see one's blocking across like this, and up here. And so I think we've only got one more to get, right? Okay, so one is the first number to bite the dust. Hit to bite the dust? Yes. I almost mixed up my idioms. We have seven blocking down here, seven across here and across here, so that must be a seven. We have two and five in the same row, so this can't be two and five. Two and five has to be in these two squares. We have the five blocking here. Five goes here, two goes there, and the last number for this column I will tell you when I see it. It escapes me now. Six, is it? Okay. Ah, good. Six blocking down here and six across here puts a six into that square. Six across these two rows puts a six up there. The same numbers here and here. Three and nine. We've got ourselves a 4 and a 5 blocking these two squares here, so we know that 4 and 5 must be in these two squares. Now that we know 4 and 5 are in those two squares, how does it help us? The remaining numbers will be 2 and 3. Okay, 3 blocks down here. 3 is in one of these 3 squares blocking down here. So this will be our 3 and this will be our 2. That 2 blocks up there and gives us a 2 in that square there. 
one digit to go in this column seven, I think it is. So if this was uh, 4 and 5, what's missing from these two squares? Um, 3 and 8. Uh, hang on a second, we've got 2 is one of our missing squares here, or one of our missing digits here, so that's going to block down here, 2 blocking across, 2 blocking across here, that must be a 2. We have a 9 blocking here and a 9 blocking here. We still need a 9 in this column, so that has to fit there. Missing numbers down here and here. Um, 3 and 8, I guess. Yeah, I said before, didn't I? 3, 8 here. Three, that's a 3, 8 as well. I do happen to know this can't be 3, 8 because of our unique rectangle rule, but that's not going to help much anyway, because uh, 8s are already going to be in those squares there, and the 3 we have already, so it doesn't help. Not, knowing that it's not 3 or 8 doesn't help. <laughs> Sometimes you find things uh, and uh, it's pointless. Ah, I've got something more useful. 3 blocks across here, so 3 is in one of these squares blocking across, and 3 blocking across there, so that must be our 3, and then 7 is the last number. We need there. Now I can get the sevens because sevens blocking up, up, and along here gives us a seven. Oh, I thought we finished. No, we haven't finished because we still need sevens in those squares. Okay. <clears throat> left Uh, 9 is one of our missing numbers, right, in, from this group here, and that's going to block up there, and then 9 blocking across there, so that has to be a 9.
so the two blocking up here like this and the invisible nine from down here and this nine block up here so we have a pair of two and nine here so knowing that's two and nine the other two squares must contain four and five does that help us yes because they have, we have a four blocking here so that must be the five that must be the four now four blocking across here puts the four there and the last number there is a two if i remember rightly and now we have two blocking across here and two up there so two in that square two blocking across here there's our two the missing number here now is a nine nine blocking across here and up here puts a nine in that square or you could just work out the missing number from that row of commas if you prefer the easy route or route if you're american and uh five goes there hey why don't they sing get your kicks on route 66 if that's an american word or is it a british song i've no idea uh missing word missing word no missing number from here is a four that four is going to block all the way down here giving us a four there and allowing us to say that five is the last number to place there um okay we've got one missing digit from this column the game is almost done now isn't it as you can see uh you're a four now we have one missing number here as well and that is an eight i think okay so the eight looks across here like that giving us an eight there um seven blocks down here this is a seven three is the last number we need there three blocking down here and three across here this is our three now i said three nine didn't i at the end i think i said three nine i think i worked that out anyway i don't know if i said it but i think i worked out three nine there did indeed nine now blocks across there nine will be in that square the missing number here is an eight eight blocks across here giving us an eight down here the last number here is a three uh, tiny bits to go now just four empty squares uh, what do we need in this block we need a five and a six so we got the blocking five here so that's our five this is our six six blocks across and puts itself there and seven will finish the game lucky seven my nemesis as <laughs> George likes to say uh, from previous puzzles where I've struggled with digit seven okay that's it uh, for this morning's expert level guardian sudoku I'll be back later with some more puzzles I think uh, over the weekend at least probably today as well bye bye